Let's talk about George Soros. And if you don't know who George is, well, you're going to know about him by the time this video is over. This article is coming from U.S. News. Billionaire George Soros, top seven stocks in 2023. These are the top seven stocks that he holds in his portfolio thus far. So George Soros is one of the most successful investors in history. His Soros Fund Management currently manages about $6.4 billion in assets. And Soros himself has an estimated net worth of $6.7 billion after donating more than $32 billion to various causes. That's pretty crazy. Soros formerly managed the Quantum Fund, which generated an average annual return of 30% over a 30-year period from 1970 to 2020. So he co-ran this quantum fund with uh, the other famous guy, Jim Rogers. Soros also famously made $1 billion in profits in a single day in 1992 by shorting the British pound. So at the time, Soros was a hedge fund manager. He believed the British pound was overvalued and that it would eventually have to devalue. He bet against the pound by selling billions of pounds short meaning that he borrowed pounds, then sold them, expecting to buy them back at a later date at a lower price. Soros actions put a lot of pressure on the Bank of England, which was trying to defend the pound's value. The Bank of England raised interest rates to 15% in an attempt to attract investors to the pound, but this did not stop Soros from selling. What's known as Black Wednesday, the Bank of England spent billions of pounds trying to defend the pound, but it was to no avail. The pound continued to fall and the Bank of England was forced to abandon the ERM. This caused the major financial crisis in the UK and Soros made a profit that day estimated at $1 billion. So top holdings in her, so top holdings in George Soros So top holdings in George Soros fund include Horizon Therapeutics at 5.3%. He also has Alphabet. Many may not know Liberty Broadband. Everyone knows Amazon. Everyone knows Rivian. You have Airmark and Aircap Holding. Now, I didn't know that Horizon was his number one stock in his portfolio. Horizon Therapeutics is a commercial stage specialty pharmaceutical company. In December, Horizon shares jumped on news that M Mgen plans to acquire Horizon in a $28 billion deal at a price of $116 per share. However, the FTC sued to block the deal in May of this past year. Soros Fund manages, management owns about 3.3 million shares worth a little over $335 million, again making it its largest stock holding in his bag. However, this past week, Joe Soros got great news. We have some breaking news from the FTC. Let's get to Emily Wilkins down in Washington with the very latest. What do we know, Emily? Well, at this point, we know that the FTC is going to be able to actually come to an agreement with Amgen, that biotech company uh, that was looking to buy Horizon Therapeutics. Uh, this is going to be a huge purchase for Amgen, $27.8 billion purchase. And of course, this agreement was after the FTC initially moved to block the sale in May over concerns that Amgen would use anti-competitive business practices. They were worried that they would leverage key drugs from Horizon to prevent other drug companies from competing. But under the agreement that is going to be announced this morning, Amgen wouldn't be able to use certain tactics like bundling medicines together for sale and would be able to go forward uh, in that purchase. Um, you know, for the FTC, a lot of this has really focused around anti-competitive behavior, trying to make sure that a lot of these pharmaceutical companies are not engaging in it. Uh, and you've seen the FTC come to a, actually a few agreements over the last couple days, uh, just really trying to address some of these things uh, in terms of anti-competitiveness and how companies actually use and negotiate uh, with other products. All right, Emily, thank you. On the news, we saw a pop in the stock. Stock went from 113 to 115. Um, not a huge jump, but nevertheless positive news. Now let's scroll out to the monthly chart 
and uh, we can see price is retesting all-time highs near their $120 level. Now again, when Amgen said they wanted to buy Horizon, they said they would buy it at a stock value of $116, and that's probably why you didn't get a huge spike because price is sitting just below uh, 116. Now, where can price head in the short term? Uh, well, we do see the 13 simple monthly moving average serving as support. You see price declined back in May. Um, however, price did respect the moving average. And the last couple of months, we had a couple of basin candles until price opened in August, moved down to shoot higher, and we could see a gap up um, to start September. So again, the all-time highs is 120. You know, this is probably a buy the rumor, sell the news type of deal um, as the FTC is going to allow Amgen to purchase Horizon. Uh, this is the weekly chart and um, you can see a rally in price of basic candle and a drop. Um, let's do this here right so rally a base and a drop in price on the weekly chart I like to draw my zones in red and then you can see another one you got a rallying price of base and candle and another drop right 